Well, we have made it. Where in the world are we at? This is Meeting Lake. Meeting Lake. Yeah. We're ready to hunt stone sheep and mountain goat for a couple weeks. See how long these boys can put up with Aaron and I. Sounds like you stole our camp cook, though. I don't know. <laughs> I we know. Have, we have, where's, where's Charlie's like a big About an hour earlier, but we had so much ice. It, let's see, whole plane. Yeah. The ice. Well, made it to sheep camp uh, a couple days early. Hunt starts August 1st, so uh, we've got a couple days to get settled in. We're going to check a gun and kind of get our bearings up here. Um, probably the, one of the prettiest places I've ever seen, but um, big country. A lot of a lot of steep mountains and a lot of thick timber. So uh, we've got to dig up a nice stone sheep and a mountain goat in the next two weeks. But uh, we hustled up to get up here. Now we got a couple days to relax and, uh, and get our bearings. So we're gonna check some zeros this morning and uh, enjoy a couple days out of the office. Brought a 6.5 PRC this trip. Um, newer cartridge for us. Mike's been playing with it a bunch. Really likes it. We're running that 147 grain ELD bullet from Hornaday, good BC, um, mid 2800 velocity. So, uh, should be a real cool gun for the hunt. Um, we're excited to shoot it. So. Okay, you can adjust that ring, but basically, we're hoping our 100 yards ends up where our 100 yards is. That's what happens when you uh, kind of packing up at the last minute. Well, take the screws out, put the new ones back in, it's all easy. Looks like this one's gonna line up just fine for us. Well, 100 yards zero, printing about a quarter minute high. Um, just had about five, six shots through it before we brought it up, kind of left it foul. Gonna check it at about 700 up there and see if we're still in that quarter minute high, see if before I make an adjustment. Not the perfect uh, shooting condition, um, so we're gonna check a couple different distances to make sure the data we have is, is accurate.
Call it. You load and bipod for it. Check your level and load that bipod for it. See that one? Yeah. Play a half minute lower than the last one. Yeah. Nice shot. That'll work. This time we fire this, hopefully there's a mountain sheep or a mountain goat in the crosshairs. Butt ready to ride on the saddle? Yeah. Oh yeah. Lots of padding. kind of hit the top of the sheep mountain up here where just unlimbered the optics for checking out some of these mountains. I guess probably got a prize just like always first to see a sheep win so bragging rights for the next 14 days. Well, we didn't get skunk, but we didn't see any sheep, so it's been a nice day. It's pretty country. Packing up. Gonna see if we got room for all the garrets, toiletries, and down pillows, and stuff like that. It's gonna be a stretch. Uh, we've got about a four hour pack in to our uh, spike camp area, and then uh, tomorrow is August 1st, which means the tag that I have in my backpack goes live. So we're excited for the morning. Well, we, we went through all this work to make this, uh, um, this fancy gun that folds up. And I was thinking, man, wouldn't that be nice to pack up on the mountain? It's like just drop it in the backpack, you're busting through some alders and stuff. Pretty cool little shooter. We did a 4 to 16 on there. And uh, 6.5 PRC, a short little barrel. I think we ended up 20 inches on this thing. Makes a nice little packer. Check out those new rings on there.
So I'm starting to see how this goes. Charlie says three hours. You gotta factor it up by almost double, about five hours. <laughs> what everybody says. <laughs> Keep it simple. Three hours. This is a spike camp, right? Tent camp. Not a camp. spike camp, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, so we've got tons of basins to hunt and uh, 10 days to do it, huh? Saw a few mountain goats coming over. Uh, that was kind of nice to see some animals that we're actually chasing, so. Yeah. Hopefully it warms up for us tomorrow. We got a live sheep tag in the backpack today. The way I figure it, the fact that we haven't seen a lot of sheep just increases the odds that we're gonna see some sheep today. Sheep hunt has taken a slight detour here uh, this morning. Day one of the hunt, August 1st. Uh, looking for a stone sheep for Aaron, but I have a mountain goat tag in my pack just in case uh, things get, uh, in case we have some downtime. And uh, we spotted a couple bulls on our way. We did about a five hour ride yesterday, 13 pack horses. Saw some of the prettiest country we've ever seen. I saw a couple billies on our way in, so. You know me, I'm not afraid of punching my tag on the first day, so we're gonna sneak up over this hill and get a better look at them. All these two billies here, trying to look at them, but they just went over when we got here. And then this one's up. 800 yards, same drainage that we seen in yesterday, just up the, up the hill a little way. So heat waves are real nasty. The guys are gonna, we got the optics out, we're gonna take a hard look at them, and see if it's worth shooting. Day one. Hard to say, it was bigger body than this other one, but it's, this one is just a young little goat, whatever it is. They said they sure got us pegged. What's that? Oh, they seem like they're looking. We could back up, circle around to the left, grab just a little bit of elevation, pop out on that gray rock. Yards. We've got one that's a mature billy. Uh, you know, you're talking about a horn that big to try and judge at 800 yards through this mirage. Um, it's a little tricky. So we might see if we can't sneak up a little further, see if we can uh, get in front of this mirage a little bit and uh, see if we can judge him a little better. It's day one. Um, but if he's a good goat, we're going to take him. We're just watching these goats here right now and they're kind of winding us, I think. On the move, so we're going to try to get up over here. Looks like there's one good mature billy there. Well, you can see some length and stuff. So. But yeah, I think they definitely can smell us a little bit.
spotter. Rolling. We think for wind there. Yep, yeah. 665. Top is the shoulder. Ready? Nice hit. One in the back. Yeah. Yeah. It's going down. Got him. Oh. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Six, seven, five. Woo! That's the awesomest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Six seventy-five. Had a little wind. He stopped. Kind of gave us that Hollywood. Yeah. Um, held about a minute. Held about a minute of wind. Six and a half, seven inches. Kind of gave us that nice pose. Just right up, kind of right up in the front of his chest. The way he actually looked like a little low, but I think it's right there in the, it's in the heart. Oh, right in the heart. Uh, 6.5 PRC. Uh, first time I've been shooting it, I mean, on a hunt. So, 147 grain bullet. Looks like it's plenty for mountain go. So. <laughs> we've we've uh, ruined a lot of outfitters. First mountain goat I've ever put hands on. So you're, this was that coloration you were talking about looking for. Yeah, if you there. see too much of this black, uh -huh. and there's not a bunch of this down below, then they're, they're pretty young. Okay. This black is a good thing. In other words, right? you know like that one I have, it's black all the way to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then this black, if it's further down, then you know it's not very long, right? So it's just hard to get that gray. Nice, nice good mass measurement. Real nice. Awesome.
Charlie made some spaghetti on the first night that was knock your socks off. So we'll see how it tastes after big old Billy Goat's been killed. Pretty tasty, Charlie. Nice work. <laughs>